What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Fresco and today we're checking out some more Full Metal. Now in the previous episode, Ed and Al have teamed up with Kimli to try to find Scar, but they have their own motives to find Scar. They mainly wanted to find May. May is someone who's familiar with Alka history and Alka history is a type of alchemy that they will be able to use against the father figure. Now, in the last episode, uh, they found Scar and they made it seem as if they were really trying to capture him. But I think that they weren't. Also, Winry appeared and Winry has now been captured by Scar. Again, quote unquote, captured. I really don't think, I'm gonna look like such an idiot if I'm wrong. I really don't think Scar captured her. I think that he took her so that way she can be out of harm's way. And then Bradley can't use her as leverage against the boys. I hope I'm right. Maybe I just sound like a fool. I don't know. I hope we find out today. So guys, as per usual, all of my reactions are to give you guys a genuine reaction to commentate and review. So without further ado, if you haven't subbed already to the channel, consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. I post up a new video every single Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time and sometimes on Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's get into this, guys. Tell me something, Kimley. Do you remember when we first met? It seems we've changed places. You shouldn't be so confident. Daydream. Oh God, is, is this gonna be uh, an episode of flashbacks? I hope why. not. Why is Winry here? Please. Well, let's see. You'll kill her. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just stay out of the way? Not so fast, is falling. I don't believe it. Wait, it's much too dangerous to get close to the building. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't. I really don't. Watch me be wrong. I'm going to look like a fool. <laughs> Let's see. That was a convincing performance. I knew it. Performance. I'm every bit as angry as I sounded back there. I feel so worthless having to put on this stupid charade. I knew it. Why did you kill my mother and father? God damn, I'm so smart. There's nothing I can say that won't sound like an excuse. And nothing can change the fact that I am responsible for their deaths. Well, it's good he takes accountability. That's good. I think he always has. Young girl, you have every right to pass judgment on me. Your arm. We'll die if we don't bandage it. Winry? Quiet, Ed. I think... I think this is what my parents would have wanted. Was... Was Ed not always in on this plan? Was this Winry's plan? Before, after all. There has to be a reason for that. <laughs> Does that mean you're forgiving me? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't forgive your wanton murdering. Yeah. Was it Winry's idea? It's all right. I won't cry. Didn't I promise that the next time I cried, they would be tears of joy? <laughs> Listen, Scar. No matter what Winry says, I still want to beat you bloody. And drag you down to the Rockbell family grave to pay your respects. Should we contact headquarters, sir? 
Yes. Major Miles, wasn't it? Can I ask you something? What? Earlier you said I was one of your people. That's right. I'm part Ishvalan on my grandfather's side. Mm -hmm. I wish we didn't have to meet like this. Honestly, they kind of look alike. How can you bring yourself to be part of the Amestria military? My objective is to work from the inside to change how the people of this country view the people of Ishval. That'll take a long time. The task will be easy to accomplish. Right, and but even so, who knows how long it will take? Gotta try. My right? blood gives me a slight advantage, at least. I'm an Ishvalan pebble tossed into the ocean of the Amestrian military. Maybe in time, the ripples I create will become great waves. And do you want to know what the most ironic part about it is? It was an Amestrian who set me on this path in the first place. Yeah. Look at me. I am a festering wound of hatred born of the Great Ishvalan War. I am thankful that there is someone like you out there. Major. So who thought of the idea for her to get taken? Major Miles here. We captured Scar. We're holding him in Area D. Inform Kimley. Whatever the circumstances may be between us, I cannot let you go. You must accept judgment. Hold on! Who's there? Dr. Marco. Is it Marco? Please don't take Scar as your prisoner. We need him. Maybe it was Marco's idea. Maybe. This doesn't look good. The weather's changing. Clouds are moving fast. Storms on its way. Oh, I see. Hurry. Then. I hate all the snow. Deciphering Starting to get a cold over here also. It's groundbreaking research that tries to fuse a mystery and alchemy in Shingy's alchemy. But all of the important parts are unreadable, written in ancient Ishvalan. Scar's the only one who can make sense of it. May Don't can't? Hmm. I guess she's not a Ishvalan, so... So you're the Alkahestri girl, huh? I have orders to bring you back to the fort. Me? But what do they want with me? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll receive a warm welcome, I'm sure. Well, let me think here. Scar needs to be kept free. And it would be just as bad if they found out that Dr. Marco was here as well. All right. I think it might be best if we took you back to Fort Briggs to hide you from senior military staff. Oh? Hold on. What are you saying? You mean we're bringing that monster with us? We need to decipher those notes, right, Ulrich? Okay. There's not a damn thing I want that guy's help with. Just hand him over to Kimberly. The transmutation circle. The one this country uh, was well, Ed, to what? Make. I heard all about it from General Armstrong. We know something's about to happen that will affect all of Amestris and its people. We need to know what the notes say. Also, his sideburns are kind of crazy. Else. <laughs> I heard they're using the Rockbell girl as a hostage against you. If we act now, we can disgrace Kimberly and find some place to hide her where they can't touch her. Oh, it was his idea. Smart. I thought it was Ed's. I gave Ed too much credit. Listen up, Scar. <laughs> if you're willing to work with us, I'll postpone your judgment day. Well, it doesn't look like you're going to give me any other choice. Yes, I'll help you decode the notes. Okay. Good. I have your word on that. You do. I swear on my Ishvalan blood. You can trust me, my red-eyed brother. I think Scar is a man of his word, actually. My apologies, Miss Rockbell. You'll have to wait a while before we can punish your parents' killer. Fine. Oh my god, these guys are awake. I almost forgot about these two freaks of nature. Dispose of them. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Wait! You don't have to kill them! Um, I mean, they're gonna tell. Kill them. Kimley. No! A life is a life! What better reason do you need than that? So what are you gonna... What? Show us mercy, how adorable. You're, You're just, just a sentimental bull. We didn't ask for your help, did we? Look at these bodies. What kind of future can we have? If you're gonna kill us, do it. I don't understand. They're gonna just tell Kimley, though. Sure we do. But as soon as we got these bodies, they were all told that we were dead. 
Oh, I see. Don't you want to see them again? Even if we did, how could we go back to them like this? You can't transfer them back. Want to get your original bodies back then. You're content the way you are now. Is that it? No, how could we be? Of course, we want our true bodies back. <laughs> There's your answer. I don't want to hear a bunch of fatalistic nonsense. Why not? I thought. They said that they could transform back in the previous episode, did they not? They was like, we're going to transform back. Well, I'm going back. No matter how long it takes, I'm not giving up. Major. Hmm. What is it? I guess maybe they... We can't complete a snow Maybe you can trust them. We have no chance of reaching the fort. What do we do now? This is a mining town, isn't it? Why don't we just go into the underground tunnels? Huh? Smart. Well, what's wrong? I mean, this is a pretty large mine, right? Mm -hmm. So surely there's a tunnel that can take us beyond the mountains. Uh, uh, Good idea. That's it. Hey, give me some credit. This is what I did for a living. He's right. The tunnels come out past the mountains. Right. Once you run into Briggs soldiers, just hand them this. I've explained our arrangements, so you shouldn't have any trouble with them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, that's where they're going to go. It's still the matter of the young Miss Rockbell. She can accompany us to the fort, of course. But when word gets out that she's missing... Won't the Elric brothers be the first people they suspect? What? We can handle ourselves. Yeah, I, hate I don't to think rest, so. But I've got a pretty smooth tongue, you know. No, this is Kimberly we're dealing with. He's yeah, he'll know. Skeptical. He's automatically going to be suspicious. Of you need to make it look legit. You need to make it look real, right? Um, I hate to be the one to suggest this, but. What do you think Kimberly would do if I was suddenly taken hostage by Scar? Mm-hmm. There it is. So it was a group effort. Okay. To kidnap you? Hold smart. On, Very smart. You're saying you want us to let him go? You were gonna let him go nonetheless. He had to. Me. Then Ed, you and the others try desperately to stop him, or mm -hmm. at least that's what you pretend to do. You understand? Yep. You can't do that. You're crazy! Well, I don't have a choice! <laughs> Mm. So is Kimley. No Literally. Don't you get it? It's time for you two to learn you don't have to do everything alone. <sighs> Make up your minds. The storm is coming in. If we don't hurry, we won't be able to get out of here. Mm -hmm. I can see Kimley's forces now. Yeah, they gotta go. They gotta go right now. Scar, if you do anything, uh, I don't think he will. I, keep my promises. I believe it. I really, really do. Us too. Please, you have to take us with you too. I know you don't trust us. Mm. So I understand if you want to keep us tied up. Kimberly shows no mercy to troops who fail to accomplish their missions. One way or the other, we're dead. Besides, we don't want to give up either. Okay. Really? How do we know you mean that? You realize if you do anything to obstruct us, the whole country could be destroyed, including your families and everyone you care about. Uh, wait, hold on. Just what are you saying? They don't you know about the transmutation circle? Told about any of this. Please, we need to know more. What's going on? They really kept them in the dark. That's insane. You're sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure everyone will feel a whole lot better if we're tied up. They did transform back. What? Good performance. I know what I'm doing. I'm confused, guys. I thought they said that they couldn't, or they could transform back. That they wanted their original bodies. Is this not their original bodies? Uh, maybe I'm thinking too deep into it. Your earrings are made out of metal. If you don't take them out, you'll get frostbite. Oh. Ed, 
Dad. You hang on to these for me. I'll see you back at the fort. Hopefully they can make it there soon. But they're gonna have to shake off a uh, Kimli in order to be able to get there. We finally got Scar cornered, and now he's taking her hostage because of you. I see. Nice. I'm worried about what's happened to Zampano and Gerso. There are two possibilities. Either Scar did the men, or they're out there in the snow. The storm will have Scar trapped, too. We know he has to be somewhere in this town, sir. Since we're stuck here, we might as well start planning our next search. They don't know there's an underground? We got lucky. The storm really saved our hides. Please let them reach the fort safely. Yeah. Excuse me, Major. Briggs is on the line for you. Oh, God. Yes, Miles here. What'd you say? What? So it's true. Oh God, is Pride gonna be here? Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. This is a shadows and darkness. This is not good. There isn't a single doctor who worked. This is not good. Didn't know your parents' names. They did their duty without any regard to themselves. Is Pride gonna appear? Here? And can can Scar be pride? How do you fight shadows? I said nothing about I don't think you can. There is no forgiveness for wanton murder. Any good man must always condemn it. But still, you must abide it. You must sever the chain of hatred once and for all. If hatred and it took him a while. Prevail, the world will be swallowed by them. But if ultimate understanding can be reached, we may still have a chance to be saved from ourselves. That is my motivation. That's why I study alchemy. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is it, all right. Oh? Something from here. Now let's see. Ooh, ah, a good feeling here, here, guys. See? A detailed map of the tunnels. I feel like Pride is gonna appear here. I can't tell what's what. We go through here, here, and here, and we're out. Impressive. You, you really know? <laughs> no, it's nothing. At this rate, we should make it over to the other side of the mountain a lot quicker than we had first thought. How can we trust them? Excuse me, Dr. Marco. Are there any hints in those research notes you have about how we might try getting our original forms back? At the moment, I can't say. It's a possibility, but this is a form of alchemy I know nothing about. I'm sure you'll find a way, Doc. Uh, I can't wait to see my family again. <laughs> Are you really that eager to get back to the old ball and chain? I'm sure you miss your daughter, but I doubt you miss your wife. That's crazy. You? you were such a lousy drunk, your own son couldn't stand to be around you for more than five minutes. Oh my god. You think you'll be able to face him now? You have to bring that up. <laughs> Are you all right, May? What Maybe they are all right. Just... My entire clan is waiting for me back in my country, but I don't think I can return to them. Maybe they they are okay. Our stone is made from sacrificing people's lives. No one should be allowed to create something so awful. Well, at least. Real Highness found out how to make one. He would. At least now you know. To do it. He'd be willing to sacrifice any number of our people. But we need it. What am I supposed to do now? It's possible these notes contain what you're looking for. Maybe. The main secret to immortality. Without having to sacrifice. To the fort and figure out what they say. That's the best case scenario. What do you mean the fort is no longer safe? I mean that General Armstrong's been summoned back to the Central Command Center. Troops sent from Central have begun invading Briggs in force. Oh. So they're acting on the Crimson Alchemist's orders. Oh We're no. I noticed him making rather frequent phone calls. This is bad. They're gonna go there. A commander handpicked by Bradley will be posted in her place. What do we do? That's not good. They're making their way there. Crap. If they're not careful, they're bound to fall into the enemy's clutches. And how will they know? Do you have no way of contacting them? There's no cell phones. We have to find some way to warn them. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can catch up to them in a storm this bad. So we sit here and do nothing? I'll go tell them. 
Don't go underestimating the storm out there, kid. You'll freeze to death before you come anywhere close to reaching them. Damn sucks. There is a way. Listen. Send someone who doesn't have a body. That storm Wh won't freeze me to death. Good point. Why are you breathing heavy? Do you feel? Let's see. The marker. The marker. There. He doesn't feel any of that, right? Can his parts actually freeze? Doesn't metal still? Doesn't it get messed up? It's him. Well, his true him. Oh, he looks worse than before. Hello? What are you doing? Do you guys think it, you know it's him? That he knows it's him? It is. Okay, he knows. Okay, he knows. How did it make contact? Oh no, not this again. That's where your brain goes? Dude, get it together, please. You don't know that. Immediate worst, worst thoughts. Immediate. Can he see everything? And also, there's von Hohenheim. Where? Where is Hohenheim? Does that mean she's dead? That leaves one more. Ooh. Had something to do with General Raven's disappearance? It seems so. However. She's too smart to leave any evidence behind. Wow, they already they are already thinking that it was her. That's not good. As for the general, well, I'm sure the tigers in central will make sure she's taken care of. That's horrible. They're really gonna move her. General Armstrong, how nice to see you. They posted you in central Mustang. You're well connected. <laughs> no, it's solely based on merit. That's rich coming from you. Why doesn't she like him? Come on. What brings you here today? Joe? You guys are both on the same side. Sure Bradley summoned me for an extended stay, I imagine. Of course. Is that so? Well, sometime we should grab some dinner. <laughs> Your treat? I hope you know I could eat you into bankruptcy. Uh, maybe we should skip dinner then. I see. Oh my You're God. short on both money and nerve, huh? Maybe I could offer some flowers instead. He does have a bunch of flowers. There are many fine florists here in Central. Are there? You think he knows that he can trust her? Sir. Now then, General Armstrong. Where is Raven? We need to talk about General Raven's recent disappearance. Mm -hmm. Just what have you done? I won't be able to hide it all. Pardon me, Your Excellency, but I simply don't understand how you can employ someone as careless and incompetent as General Raven. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason you saw fit to dispose of him? Surely you don't need him. It can't be good to have someone so talkative on your senior staff. Okay. You have me intrigued, General. What did Raven say? Immortality. The history of this country. Your Excellency's identity. He told me all sorts of things without any prompting. Hmm. He did talk a lot. After learning all of this, Makes sense. Still responded to my summons? Yes. I assume you'll be needing someone to fill that fool's vacant seat. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I like the way you play. Very well. You can have General Raven's seat. You think he can tell if she lies? understand. My men will take over Fort Briggs, 
Agreed? Of course, as you wish. My soldiers are extremely strong and well-trained, sir. I guarantee they will serve you well, Your Excellency. Oh, God. I'm sure they will. I appreciate the sacrifice, General. Huh. To steal a tiger's cubs, you have to enter her den. And it seems like the General's landed herself right in the middle of it. Yeah. And now this place is theirs, too. But still, there's one thing they don't know. Although our leader might be gone, we still stand as one. We act with one will. At least they can be That's trusted. Way. From here on, the bears will fight the tigers. Homunculus, the dwarf in the flask. So Briggs is no longer is this spot taken? fully safe? No. So how is work treating you? Okay. Uh, see for yourself. It looks like potato soup. I have to work through every meal or I can't. This is not really soup. And how about you? I've been staying busy too, especially with everything I've had to learn. Fira Bradley works very efficiently though, so Is he going to ask what happened to her face? For sure. <laughs> Sounds like this is going to be a dull conversation. Well, apparently. Scar is up in the north. The Elric brothers are up there as well. I see. <clears throat> They're using Morse code. Lucy and Ian are stationed up there. They like to keep Smart. Hmm. Aren't the north and east conducting joint exercises this spring? Yes, I think you're right about that. I hope Major Miles and Buccaneer don't show us up like they have in the past. Morse code and... Buccaneer. Okay. And York, Ida, and Sugar all spoke to her too. Havoc, Oscar, Mike, Uni, Nora... Amunculus. And Uni and Lucy again. Mm-hmm. Uni once more. And then Sterling... Suddenly, Bradley is a homunculus. Ooh. I'd say impossible. Genius. But then there is no such thing. What in the world is about to happen here? Absolute is genius. God damn. <laughs> Where's Hohenheim? We still don't know. Oh? Oh no. It's all right. What? Look, over here. What the hell? Um, yeah. Hey now. Can't you at least bring yourself to act a little surprised or something? What the hell is that? What do I get for acting surprised? Mm, you show no fear. I like that. What is that? What's your name? I'm number 23. Not your number. I want you to tell me your real name. I'm a slave. I don't have one. A slave to whom? You mean a person without any rights or freedoms? Someone trafficked and deeded as a possession? Deeded? What's that? It's when a piece of property is transferred to another person. Huh? Seems you're not all that bright, are huh? you? Hey, get out of here! How could I possibly have been born from someone as stupid as you? Hmm? You are the one who gave me blood, right? What? I guess so. He said he was going to use it for an experiment. I exist today because you gave me your blood. But who's he? Thank you. Bradley? Let's see. Number no, it can't be Bradley because Bradley is under the father figure. Give me a name. Who are you? You'll want a noble sounding one, right? Let's see. Theophrastus Bombastus. Bombastus? <laughs> oh yeah, you're not that smart. Maybe we shouldn't put too many syllables in it. Hey you, I'm plenty smart. Well, how about Von? Von Hohenheim. How does that sound? So Von Hohenheim, huh? I think oh. I can remember that. It's spelled... Oh, you don't know how to read and write, do you? I don't need to read and write to do my work. Your slave work. 
don't you even want freedom? Are you going to live out the rest of your life as a slave without the rights of a real man? I'm sure we're going to find out who his slave owner is. No different from me. But I'm curious. Let me teach you, Von Hohenheim. Hey. What are you? What right. Are you? What do I call you? I'll tell you what, Von Hohenheim. You can call me the dwarf in the flask, homunculus. It's pride. Uh... Oh, crap. Wait, so... Is that what went into Salim? And in the end, all things return to one. In other words, one is all. Indeed, and all is one as well. All is ultimately of the one. So if all is not included in the one, then all is nothing. You have passed. You are now an alchemist, Hohenheim. Hmm. Well done, child. I'm still only fit to be an assistant. My skill is nothing near yours, master. I have so many questions. So many questions. I'm grateful to you. Because he's younger here. I live as well as I do now because of the knowledge you gave me. But he said that he doesn't and grow old. Master's respect. Thanks to you, maybe someday I'll even be able to get married and have a family. A family, huh? Oh. How inconvenient for you humans. Unless you form communities and breed species can't continue to exist don't call it breeding and hmm? whether or not it's a concept that you're able to understand that's where humans find happiness we live for the bonds that we form with friends and family members that's who we humans are sure whatever you say okay then what is it that makes you happy well i mean he's I hate to be guilty of asking too much wrapped in a jar i think i'd be happy if i could just leave this flask Right. Old metal alchemist. Surely he releases him. Where did this little thing come from? Why would someone who already has so much power and prosperity need such a thing? Watch your tongue! You are in the royal presence. Oh, this has to be the master. If you continue with this insolence, I will smash your flask. You wouldn't dare to destroy such an important source of knowledge. That's but then he'd be he would be free, would he not? Or is it? Growing impatient in your old age? How lamentable, King of Xerxes. Oh, he's the king. I'll tell you how you can achieve immortality. What? What are you digging here? It's like all connected if you really think about it. That's insane. The kings ordered them to be dug all throughout the country. <laughs> That's the king for you. He even cares about the well-being of us commoners. Yes, he does. Hurry! Quickly! Carve out the crests of blood while there's still time! The North Village was attacked. I heard they all died. They thought it was the West Village. Just walking around? I don't think he really cares. <laughs> Majesty, at long last, your transmutation circle is complete. Hmm. Took long enough. Oh, there's Hohenheim. This is it. Everything is ready. Yes, you may now become immortal. There's no way he actually believes this, right? He's going to kill him. Yes, this is an amazing moment indeed. What's happening? Oh, there's some, they're, 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 they're done. They're done. No, no, you must be wrong. 
Well, GG's. I don't understand it. You, f you f fool. It's the truth again. How long ago was this? This is absolutely a flashback. Right? How long ago was this? Unless the thing went into his body first. Majesty. Let's see. Please don't don't wait until next episode to give us answers. For the love of God, you better answer them. You better answer it in the next five minutes. So this is Hohenheim, right? This is before the father figure existed. Tony, Mayo. Wow. Somebody. There must be someone left. It's no use. All of their souls have been taken from them. Hmm? Majesty. Are you all right? Tell me. Your body. How does it feel? It's me. Impossible. Huh? Using your blood, I created a receptacle for myself. Nice. Finally, I can walk on my own two legs. Are you the homunculus in the flask? What's going on here? What is Got it. What have you done? To thank you for your blood. Got it. I've given you a name. And I've given you knowledge. And now, I've given you a body that will live forever. It was because they shared the same blood. Focus your attention and he made him immortal. Oi. I see. Okay. You hear them, don't you? The voices of all the people in this country who were offered in exchange for you. Mortality. Well, half of their lives were for me, actually. <clears throat> I appreciate your cooperation. Okay, that makes sense. Sadly, strangely, that makes sense. I thought Hohenheim created him, but he didn't. That thing was in the flask. It was just a coincidence that Hohenheim's blood was used for it. I knew it. <sighs> Damn, that's crazy. Okay. Finally, I get the chance to meet Ed and Al's father. And I finally get to meet the one who taught my sons. I'm sure they must have been a handful. <laughs> oh no, they were fine boys. What is it? Izumi, are you alright? Let me get your medicine. May I have a look at her? I know a bit about the medical field. Oh? Can he heal her by touch? I'm all right. This happens. No, you are not all right. Mr. Sig, find us a car, quickly. <laughs> Hurry! Right. I'm on it. Can you feel what's wrong in the inside? Mrs. Izumi, you have seen the truth. What did you sacrifice? Mm -hmm. 
Please be honest with me. Trying to get her baby back. My insides were taken. I was trying to bring my child back to life. I see. I'm sorry. Oh! What? You cannot give in to your fate just yet. Ooh. That caught me by surprise. Jesus. But who... Who are you? Who am I? I am a philosopher's stone. In the form of a man. Hmm. That's what I am. I really thought he killed her, y'all. Ooh, my God. Okay, so I think I'm sort of understanding how this whole thing came about. So back whenever that was, when they showed the king and everyone getting completely slaughtered, they came across this entity, this entity that they kept inside of a glass jar. Now, I'm guessing this was the first homunculus, but where did it come from? That's what I don't know. Or they did say... And I just don't remember. But it's very similar to what Salim has. So I'm wondering if, if it is now in Salim or is it still the father figure? Or did the father figure give a similar power to Salim? That's what I don't understand. And I'm hoping we're going to find out soon. But nonetheless, so this entity broke free, tricked the king, slaughtered everyone. It was a coincidence that Hohenheim gave it some of its blood, which is the reason why it looks like Hohenheim. And it gave immortality to Hohenheim, which then now doesn't allow Hohenheim to ever age, right? What I thought was, I thought Hohenheim uh, got injected with some type of special philosopher's stone and then created this thing and then couldn't control it for whatever reason. That's where my brain was going. But this is much, much more interesting. So now, the father figure is that entity, is it not? And it's been that for years now, I'm assuming, and creating all these other homunculi. God, it's such a, Jesus Christ, it's such a twisty, twisty story. We gotta keep on going, guys. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, so that way you get notified when I post up a new video. I post up a new video every single Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and sometimes on Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Thanks again, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Later, guys.